This is one of my favorite Sihan episodes. So I'm going to watch it later. But let's talk for just a minute, if I may, about the Sihan episodes, about the Sihan TV series. And specifically, oh, this is Ali Pierce, by the way. Ali Pierce Cuba, Sihan Remembered. My attempt to keep the Sea Hunt series exciting and current so that we don't forget about it. It was the most exciting, the most popular TV show ever at its time, 58 to 62. And, uh, and young people like me, I was 10 years old, 8, 9, 10 years old at the time. We, it was just so thrilling. It was fantastic. And it resulted in millions of scuba divers uh, getting into the sport. To a large extent, made the sport what it is today. And Sea Hunt itself, the TV series, is still very popular. There are sea hunt episodes and sea hunt scenarios, sea hunt events, sea hunt collectors like myself. Lots of people still in sea hunt, not all old like me either. Lots of young people have seen some of these sea hunt episodes and they're thrilled by them. And so they have started, they've been taking part in sea hunt scenarios. They may have sea hunt collections as well. And it's just been a fantastic adventure for me all the way back from 1958 when I first uh, tried scuba diving. So this is one of the sea hunt episodes which I'm going to watch. This is my home theater. It's just like your home theater. Do you have one of these? No, you probably don't. You probably have some little uh, electronic box with a couple of LEDs on it and, and, and so on. No, no, no. This is, this is home theater. <laughs> In any of that, I do have many of these Sea Hunt episodes, or 155 of them. Uh, I have many of them on the original film. And it's quite a thrill for, for me and others as well. I actually show these films at lots of other different events around the world. It's a thrill for other divers as well, other sea hunt nuts, uh, sea hunt aficionados is a nice word, to watch these films. Because when these films were shown in, on TV in 1958 to 62, when they were shown, they were actually the films. It wasn't digital, it's not like today. So when we actually watched the TV show on television every day, ran home from school so we didn't miss an episode, they actually looked like films, like the old fashioned, you may have seen it, remember them from grade school or, or middle school or high school on a projector like this, because these are the films that the TV studios actually received from Ziv Productions in Hollywood. That's right. Now, of the 155 episodes, and you can get all those episodes now on, uh, on DVD, if you would like. But of those 155 episodes, I have about 125 of them from the original movies, the original films that were sent out to the TV studios. That's right. TV studios all over North and North America would call Ziv Productions at their management company and say, Hey, I, uh, we want to show another Sea Hunt episode. What's the latest one? We showed one last week. What's the newest one? And Ziv Productions, you see here, Ziv Television, Productions Incorporated. They would take the latest issue. They made many copies of them. They would take the latest issue and put it in one of these tin cans and label it on the side. You see here, it's got the label on here. Ziv Productions Studio, Sea Hunt, episode number, whatever it happened to be, 1008 in this case. And then they would put it usually into a crate. I'll show you the crate in just a moment. And they would mail it off to the TV studio. So if you were in Buffalo or Rochester or New York City itself or in Cincinnati or Washington State or anywhere in any t in any place, and there, you had TV, you had to have TV. I, and it was probably a black and white TV in those days, which is fine because the Sea Hunt episodes were in black and white. So you got them in full color, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, and uh, your local TV station would receive this in the mail. And it came by mail. And they would open it, and they would take it out. And at the appropriate time, uh, they would put it on uh, in the studio. And the cameraman would focus his camera on the film. And then that would be broadcast out to you and into your home for you to watch the scene episode. So this is the actual can that came in. This is another one here. This one shows that this particular case, this can came, it was sent out. And then, as it says on the back, important notice, return this print via Railway Express prepaid. So they used the railway. Uh, United Artist Television Incorporated. They had an office in Cincinnati. Uh, here's another one. This is uh, important notice. We send, send it back. Cincinnati, Ohio. And United Artists Incorporated Sea Hunt. And uh, this is episode number 41 came out in these cans and they were shipped in a usually shipped in a box like this not always sometimes they sent the cans out often they were sent in a box like this this is actually a sea hunt box it says sea hunt right on it put in here for a little extra protection and sent out to the local television studios to broadcast put on their tv station so you and i i'm up in toronto so i received the broadcast probably from buffalo i'm not exactly sure i think we got wgr2 or something like that 
and I would run home from school just the way you did as well to make sure I didn't miss an exciting episode of Mike Nelson fighting the bad guys and whatever it happened to be. So part of my collection, in fact, does include these films. As I mentioned, I have about 125. I can't begin to show them all to you, but I do have a photograph here of myself sitting in my, what would that be, my film room. How about that? In my film room, and I have all of these films organized and labeled. The film room is a special room. Or, you know, it's, it's, it's it kept good humidity. It's in, in the basement of my house where the temperature is constant year round and the films are cared for in there. And every once in a while, as I'm doing right this minute, I uh, thought I would get one out, one of my favorite episodes. I would get it out and put it on this old fashioned projector and show it. I sit down with a, a favorite cup of coffee and uh, watch Mike Nelson doing his thing. It's very, very exciting for me. Now, if you are interested in watching the Sion episodes to find out what this is all about, what I'm talking about, well, just go onto the internet and Google Sea Hunt, and you'll find that uh, that you, you many, many people have actually put Sea Hunt episodes on YouTube. So you can actually on YouTube, you can watch one of the episodes. Maybe more exciting and a little better quality would be for you to purchase the DVDs. They're not expensive. You can get entire seasons of the Sea Hunt episodes for $25 or $30. Amazon, in fact, just recently uh, sponsored and produced a series of the Sea Hunt episodes that you can purchase. So you can have all of the Sea Hunt episodes right from number one right through to number 155, and you can enjoy them at your leisure. DVDs, and you can sit in your home theater, maybe not quite like my home theater, and you can watch the Sea Hunt uh, movies as well. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't matter if you have a 60-inch, 4K, 3700 color TV. They're black and white. <laughs> They're not in color. The Sea Hunt episodes have never been remastered and ne never been retouched in color as some old movies had. And I'm glad of that. It brings back a lot of fond memories for me to see the Sea Hunt episodes. Now, the DVDs are actually better than the originals. They have been cleaned up. So a lot of the lines and so on, sparkles that showed up when the original films aren't there anymore. When you watch the DVDs today, you're probably seeing a better show in terms of technical quality than what we watched when we were kids back in the 50s and 60s. But it's the same thing. It's Mike Nelson helping little boys who lost their bicycle, getting bad guys, finding leaks, saving uh, a, a U.S. test pilot from his downed plane, saving people lost in... Oh, it's just an on and on it goes. It was just a fantastic TV show, and I think you'd really enjoy watching it. So I hope you've enjoyed this a little bit. You have some idea of what I do sometimes, both at the Sea Hunt events and myself when I'm sitting here alone in my home theater. I just pop on one of my Sea Hunt episodes and watch it. It's great, great fun. Keep those comments coming in. I hope you enjoyed this, learned a little wee bit, and I'm going to go back and watch my TV show. Sorry, folks. Talk to you real soon again. This is Alec Pierce, Sea Hunt Remembered. Talk to you again real soon. Not for the next 30 minutes, so, okay, bye-bye. Hi, I'm Mike Nelson. I was off the coast of Florida on a dive in the weightless underwater world.